Hey guys, and welcome to Kitten's Corner, episode 7. This should actually be leaning towards episode 9, but we pressed pause on it because I ran into a realization. Um, one is I was going to work with Clay, and it was going to be a great project, but I realized that there's a lot of Clay out there, and that it, um, it really, really just was too much to try to do in one video it would have been about two hours long to be fair so that's working with the clay showing examples of the clay different clays and um molding mediums that's the word we should be using because there's different kinds and modeling mediums i'm sorry but there's so many different kinds and to be fair we would have to have spend lots and lots of time so i was going to go as low quality and even though it's not really low quality, to be honest with you, Clado has its place in this war. Um, we have Magic Clay, which is also an air dry. Um, I was going to get the air dry that um, was used in some other people's video. But I noticed every single time they were saying it cracked. So we will deal with it because I want to see for myself. But I wanted to, didn't really want to include it in the video, I made an executive decision. I don't have monster clay either because it is super expensive and you really, really can't. Monster clay, I do have cos clay, I have Sculpty, I have, uh, I guess an off-brand Fimo, 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 let me um, get the package. I have... Fimo. I want to make sure they get credit. Now this. I also have this type, which I bought from, I want to say Dollar General. And it's literally just this oven big clay. Um, there's some upside and downsides to working with them. As you can see, most of this stuff is open because I gave it a go. And I'm going to show you the Sculpty box. And I also have cosplay, but that's thanks to the Nerdy Crafter Kit, which we will get into. But not today. We're going to make sure we give the Nerdy Crafter Kit its due and give it its own project. But I did want to show it. I'm going to pop this container, air dry container, so you can actually see my little cosplay that I do have. Um, Cos clay is really great because cos clay does something amazing where when it heat sets it does not air dry, which means your clay, I'm sorry for all the rattling, will still be kind of rubbery. And it, like all the other clay, also you don't have to worry about um worry about the um it getting hard until you actually heat set it that's another great thing about heat set you're not on a time constraint worrying about it drying before you actually get what you want especially if you're working on a big project it's going to take more than a couple of hours to do the air dry um you know what <laughs> let me just get started and show you all right be right back on the setup for you guys all right, welcome back and welcome to my mini museum of air dry stuff. Uh, what you don't see represented, I want to get that out of the way and out the bat is you do not see any color of the Play-Doh because unfortunately, the really, really downside about Play-Doh, even though it's super soft, super soft, as you can see, you can smush it and roll it around and create great things. For me, um, my experience is I had one set out to dry for almost a week and it did not dry. And when it finally dried, it shriveled up because all of the water came out of it. So, and that kind of leans toward what people say about air dry with the fact that it does not uh, dry the way that you make the object. It dries and all the water goes away and it cracks. Well, guys, I think I have found the mother load of air dry clay. And I'm going to bring that package around. And that is this magic clay thing. If I can put it in view. I hope I have it in view. It comes with little tools. Just like, so if you want to get your little future artist interested in art, this might be the product you want to be interested in. 
sculpting rather, this might be the product you want to use. As you can see, it comes with the little tools. Let me show you got them in view. And it comes with a really soft clay. Downside to me is this clay feels like uh, bubble gum. That's the best way. And not just any bubble gum, guys. It feels like chewed bubble gum. But the upside is it dries the same way. It's a more of a rubbery texture. But this is completely dry. Um, I mean, some of the downsides it are is that it's very sticky. It's um, very kind of airy. It doesn't cut well with its tool. Now, I haven't really tried it. Let me show you my little flower. That's how detailed you can get with it. And it's great for color because you can... It, it's going to... It's already the color, so you can go ahead and pick it. There's no painting involved. You're done when you're done with the, the sculpting part, unlike the clay we're going to use next. So, and this is my little teddy bear. Now, I don't know how well this same product would work with a realistic product like if you were trying to be epic and make a scene or something like that but my brainstorm says and that's one of the future projects is that this would be awesome in resin because it's going to have the coloration you get to skip a step and you get as far as painting it and it will hold its shape and it'll be kind of flowy like this part right here it so it's kind of like a cheaper version of the cause clay without the heat set up and as you can see stuff is moving around but like i said it feels like gum but the downside it feels like chewed gum like if you ever pulled a piece of chewed gum out your mouth and it was kind of rubbery but it wasn't doing its thing anymore it even feels wet to the touch so you have this wet product and as you can see it's very squishy so it's very soft and you can roll it up and work with it fairly fast so that's always a good thing and make your item and leave it on leave it you can leave it alone and it's going to do what it needs to do and i'm trying to see if i can speed make a cat with purple eyes i don't know <laughs> but yeah so your imagination is your only hindrance in the clay like this the upside is it's going to dry it's going to keep it shaped uh if dries fairly fast like not super fast that's the other good thing though it dries fast but not super fast so you don't have to worry about it being dry within the time that you've made it like while you're working with it it works pretty good it does mold into itself as you can see i hope it does mold into itself so that means it's not going to just fall off once it gets dry it's very sticky but that unfortunately becomes a downside as well because now you've got this very sticky clay that wants to not move anymore so once it touches whatever you put it on that's like what they say a whole wrap so i learned this very this very thing last night so don't judge about putting the three balls on the head to make the rest of the body I don't even know if it's going to work. I literally saw it on a video last night. So she put one here. It was a lady. I'm going to try to dig up her video so I can put her name in the credits. And give her credit for doing a speed kitty cat. And as you can see, we got our cheeky cheeks going. Now we use some of our molding stuff. And we swish it down to make the nose on this side. And do some gentle smushing, but not really... To kind of smooth it in to look like one thing. And it's a great cheat because one good thing is you've already got your your little cheeks for your cat. And of course you can throw some whiskers on there. Um, and, and make a little kitty cat. Now we're going to sit him out to dry. I just wanted to do a face real quick. So there's our little face. And I'll grab another color because we might as well finish them off while we got them here, huh? But anyway, you're going to throw on throw some little ear little ear hoops like we did the bear. But this time, of course, triangular because it's a cat. And we put that in there. That might have been too big. Smish it in. And there you have a quits cat. Done kind of live, but 
yeah now this clay is i think this is kind of like my favorite to work with i was complaining when i opened the package and then i started working with it and i was like oh it's all right it's all right okay it's pretty good so there you go a little quick cartoony looking cat and if you're like i said if you're trying to introduce the kid to clay that's probably going to be your best way to do it we're gonna let our cat dry sit up here and dry and like i said we try to make sure he don't touch anything because if something else is wet he will definitely stick to it and then you have a cat stuck to a pony and we don't want that all right guys see you in a second let me set up to work with our next set of clay okay guys we are back and as you can see i have the desk cleared from all the little kitty kind of clay and we're at the adult side of the, the desk and i've got our sculpty clay cosplay and all that kind of stuff um here's why one two blah blah skipping some parts what i wanted to say about the the cosplay and the sculpty clay and all of that they kind of lump in together like you can really work with them um kind of at a slower pace you don't have to rush um uh, but you do end up having to to you know have you could be more true and unfortunately what comes with the territory of trying to be more true is you struggle with making your product because you the more details you can get the more details you want to get some of the things you can work with better, of course, your tools, adult with your product. So I'm going to actually be using, and let me throw that away. All right. I'm going to actually be using stuff from the Nerdy Crafter, not super, not another crap kit. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's mistaken. It's last day is February 20th. So quick little plug for her kit if you want to get it it's still available until supplies run out or until february 20th of this month so you got uh six more days to get it if you didn't get it and if you did get it then you do know about these little tools sculpting tools and of course they're universal you can use them on any kit that you may have if i can get them open we are not going to pull out the Super Nerdy Craft Kit because I do want to give it its due. But since I'm going to be using its products, I thought that I should be fair and mention it. And of course, I'll put that link in the description as well. Just in case you want to snap it up before it's before they're gone. Uh, but -da, here is our other sculpting tools. So a lot of tools, a lot of these tools... I honestly don't know how to work with, but I do now have them. So that's the, that's the start of a great, great adventure. And this, of course, is our sharp pointy thing. Literally says it on the box. If I can put it where you can see it. Fire the same kit. It's all in the same kit. So if you want a one fell swoop of sculpting products plus more, a whole lot more and like i said we'll give it its due when we get there but um yeah if this would be the box you want to get it's on the pricey side at 150 but you get so 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 much so 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 much um and it even has an airbrush so if you were ever interested in airbrushing again this is going to be the kit you want to get it's got airbrushing it's got a one of a kind figure that you're not going to find anywhere else and it's got the tools you need to make some really epic things i made a dragon i am going to attempt to make another dragon that's why i said i'm not going to really push into it because i want to give that it's due but i did want to get that plug in because it is about to either sell out or going to be discontinued again on february 20th thank you nerdy crafter for making this beautiful kit and i hope that i at least send one or two people your way okay so the kit the reason another reason i'm going to use the cosplay today because i have already used the female the female filmo fil, what is that female and i've already used the um sculpty so i'm gonna do the cosplay on camera real quick and when i say real quick i mean slowly 
I have to keep them separated because the fem the femo gray and the sculpt the cosplay look exactly alike, but they're not. Um, this cosplay downside is that when you first get the going on it, it is very very hard, and you have to kind of what they say need the the, the dough or need the it's kind of like kneading the dough literally, but it's clay. So we got us a little chunk or two. And by chunk or two, we got this. And it looks about as hard as it feels. And if you are not careful, it will definitely crumble on you instead of it wants to it wants to fall apart and it will crumble on you. Upside, let's go downside first. Up downside one is the fact that it does kind of start off kind of hard. Um downside it will not stick together so you got to mush it in there's a lot of molding involved in it to get it as you can see it doesn't really want to stay together and you can push too hard and mess up your project trying to get your clay to actually work together now they do have bun a sculpting bun which is also in your kit a little sample of it but it is something you can purchase online uh, pricing downside this is of course kind of expensive and I know I didn't really get into the pricing of the other one I believe I bought those little packets you saw were in a pack of 38 I'm sorry 36 and it was um, around eight something so it's not very expensive either for the fact that you're getting a pretty nice product I mean it's not a hundred percent the best for its downsize but it's pretty good this caused clay however i went to price it because i wanted to make sure i have enough to do my future products my future projects rather with it and this cause clay was uh 16 dollars for the little box that you saw very expensive so if you're not expensive if you're on a budget especially like i am so if you're not intending on um, doing this for a living or way to make money or something like that, it may be a little pricey just to have around. So we kind of got it warm and going. I'm still kind of struggling, but I want to do it live time. <laughs> so you get a feel of it. And we are definitely going to make the same thing we made with the air dry. So we have a comparison. Now what's going to be different is we're not going to paint this because we have to heat set this. So if time is a factor, air dry is probably not going to be the way you want to go because you definitely have to stop and heat set your paint. Um, and if, but once you heat set it, it'll do the same thing that other little clay did. It'll definitely, definitely be a really nice product. Now, the other downside is it's all gray and it's all gray because the, it's one color. So you have to go in and I have to get the little tool. This is where I had to learn how to use my little tools to get things. You have to create the stuff that we, we just kind of slapped together on the other one. You have to use your imagination and sculpting skills. Uh, we will not be putting um, the the clay on the inside of the ears, but we will take our little sculpting tool and make the crevices for it. And then we will come back and fill it in with paint. Let's see if we get it. Got him. And that becomes a whole nother video because painting the clay becomes a project. And that's why I said there's a lot of side projects in it that you know time and effort to do so definitely like I said and even this video is probably gonna run a little long it's definitely not something I could have done all in one fell swoop so here we go we got her eyes dubbed in I know I said her definitely be a he we're gonna take some clay do the same method take our little balls and we're going to put them in the eye socket of Unlike the other one, we can't change the color. Let's smush that down in there. And a lot of it, I know I'm doing off cam, but I'm going to show you as I'm going. And we got our little eyes in. 
Now, what's going to be different is we're going to do a lot of smoothing and sculpting it out to get this little guy pretty, as they say. Get him nice and pretty and smooth out. And that is where this has a downside to it. It's a lot of time involved. So will a kid enjoy it? No, because they're going to want to do what you're doing and make a professional piece and they're not going to be able to because it takes a lot of time. I'm kind of rushing through it. So what's going to end up happening is I'm going to come back and keep working on this little kitty cat even after I get off of here. But we're making the little balls now. And I just kind of want to get it to the point where we got the other one. Then I'm going to show you some of the pieces that I did work on. Um, each of them took me a couple of hours to do. So it's very time consuming. If time is not your friend. And again, you don't want to work with this kind of clay. Um, here we go. Oh, that's way too big compared to the other ones. <laughs> Who's giving him a monster note. And all we're doing is making the note, of course, of your cat. Where the little whiskers and stuff would be in one cat and two cat. And it already has that little, I always thought it was a frown, but it's kind of like their face. And boom, we got a cat. And we're going to take our smoothing tool. These are going to be your best friend if you do want to endeavor to work with cosplay or any other heat set clay. And they're universal. You can work with any kit with them. We still may have made it snow a little too big, so we might have to keep smoothing that down. But what we're doing now is pretty much marrying these two clays. The ball, rather, onto our little figure. <laughs> Now, all right, so boom, we got, like I said, there's a lot of work involved, and I did not mean to give him a black nose. Boom, nose is all smushed in like a black eye. <laughs> okay, yeah, like I said, it's a lot of work that we will have to do to complete our little cat figure as compared with our other kitty cat figure that's well on its way of drawing. But if you want detail, you're going to want to use the cosplay. If you just want to make a quick little cat to impress your little kids, you might have. Because we can even go back and put black dots on his, to make him some irises on his eye. And if you want to do detailing, you're going to want to use the cosplay. And um, yeah, you're still going to get a nice product out of each. Because this is going to dry and be rubbery and actually be something a kid could play with. And this is going to be something that you're going to heat set, paint, and you're going to be really impressed with your own work when it's all said and done. So, yeah. So, as you can see, apples and oranges, both of them are pretty good products. And you'll like both of them. It just depends on how much time you have and how much money you want to spend. And if it's something that you want to goof off with and eventually probably away or something you want to make really really nice and have as a keepsake to put on the art shelf that I really want to get to put right there so that I can start putting my projects on when I get started but here we go with some of the stuff that I have made was making with the other one this was made with the filmo it's a little girl there's a lot of work still left on her but that's kind of not bad for a first go, I hope. <laughs> but it, it's, she's supposed to be a cosplay girl. She got her little ponytail in her head. And um, she's got her um, oh, da, 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 little cat ears going on. And this is my man. I made this with the Sculpty Clay. And just to give myself an idea of how long these projects take, I spent on this head alone probably about three hours. And that was slowly putting him together. I definitely will revisit it because I want you to see, like, get a feel of how long it actually takes to make just, and this is just the head. And this is not even a full body figure. I am actually working on a full body figure. And I'm on day probably three of it. And I have paused again because 
You don't want to work on something when you don't feel like this is my foxy fox with this little fur and his little ears. Um, all three of them need painting. They need to be heat set and then painted. Um, I'm going to leave them kind of like where they are in the stages they are as a brief reminder of the time and stuff. You know, these are my first projects. And this is my work in progress as a twer. My, um, my, I'm going to say midterm exam, not final exam, because pretty sure final exam, I want to do something epic. Maybe I'll make him a friend for the final exam. But as you can see, the boots are starting to form. He's got a jacket starting to form. It is going to be a guy. And then I'm going to probably, like I said, for final exam, do a, another figure. So, yeah, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of time but it's fun it's very time consuming it will take your mind off of things if you got stuff stuff on your mind it will take your mind off of it and it'll give you a way a segue to actually just relax and um have fun with the project that's going to to give you a, probably a lifetime of things to do and if you don't like your project you can always just smush it and start over again with the cosplay. Again, you don't, if you, you do that, you know, you have to start over again. So, like I said, we're going to get this little guy finished. And in a future video, we'll paint him and the other little ones that I'm working on after I get the big figure done. But we, and that's it, guys. <laughs> Next episode, of course, we're going back to our little Create This Book series. Um, we're going to have fun with that, I hope. Hopefully, it'll be a lighter week as far as stuff. stuff. Um, and we will get that done and get that to you, hopefully, on time. If not, on the scheduled time, sometime no, next week, we'll try to probably do it like that. I am not trying to push this because I want it to be comfortable and fun. And do not forget, get your Super Nerdy Crafter kit if you have not. So, because it is going to be no longer available after the, the 20th of this month. Uh, Alright guys, we'll talk with you next time. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I just want you to take a pause and say you don't know how much I really appreciate it and I like hanging out with you guys I'm trying to make my content a little fun and so that and also educational so that you're getting two for your double for your trouble and gosh guys I like hanging out with you guys so yeah that part All right we'll see you next time on Kitten's Corner Bye. Hey, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you really like my content so that you can keep up with me and I can build this channel. Thanks, guys.